April 2017 Global Financial Stability Report. And external imbalances to enhance resilience to external shocks. The market is pricing in an increase in interest rates. The risk is that interest rates might rise even more quickly and that would that could be triggered by fiscal imbalances and that would represent a downside risk. Be setting up for another potential corporate debt crisis. If policies go unexpectedly uh, badly, uh, some part of the corporate sector might be exposed to, um, to these unexpected shocks. Uh, so there's a tale of vulnerable firms in the corporate sector that have a relatively low interest rate coverage ratio, i.e. where the cash flows that they generate, um, you know, don't necessarily cover the interest rate expenses. So the four trillion dollar number refers to that weak tail of the corporate sector. Uh, should there be a top-down broad plan? The growth of credit in the Chinese economy has been very fast since the financial crisis, and the overall level of debt is very elevated. The Chinese authorities are taking steps to contain leverage, both in the banking system and in the shadow banking system. Um, and they show some uh, success in reining in credit growth, but in our view more needs to be done. Infrastructure spending and reductions in regulatory burden. Non-performing loans in the euro area uh, still is a, a significant uh, uh, matter. And if you look at it over the past two years, uh, NPLs have, have come down only about uh, 120 billion. So they're still hovering around the one uh, trillion uh, mark. So if, like that's the, that's the bad news. The good news is that there's much more increased focus uh, on addressing this uh, problem. So these transition challenges are going to be, will need to be managed. Getting the policy mix right with respect to corporate tax reform in the U.S. means that it will translate into more capital expenditures, more investment, which will in turn boost growth. That should really be the, the focus of the corporate tax reform, as opposed to financial risk taking through payouts to shareholders, more leverage. And, and these trends that we have observed in, in recent years. And concrete advice of the SSM in terms of. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for those watching us online. And